This episode of New Jersey Living is being filmed in one of the three New Jersey cities voted as top 50 locations to live in the United States. Of course, if you're looking at the sign behind me, it's the dead giveaway. We're talking about Fort Lee. So money.com has Fort Lee ranked as the 14th best place to live in America. Uh, the other two that made the uh, top 50 in New Jersey are Morristown, which actually will be our next episode, and uh, a location that we've had multiple episodes already, which is Jersey City. All right, so we're gonna learn a little bit about uh, Fort Lee today, where I am right now. Uh, you can see the building behind me right over here has Hudson Lights. This is a newer, as you probably can tell, newer uh, shopping, entertainment area, dining area. Right here, downtown Fort Lee, very much in close proximity to the George Washington Bridge, which is literally like two blocks from here. Uh, so we're gonna get into some of the details about Fort Lee and some of the features that create demand and what have you, and we're gonna get into that uh, very shortly. Um, but those who are not familiar with New Jersey, just to flash up a quick map of Fort Lee. Fort Lee is the north eastern section of the state in Bergen County, directly across the Hudson River from Upper Manhattan. So you take the uh, George Washington Bridge, you're into Upper Manhattan, then very quickly you're into the Bronx. So this is a location that is proximity wise, you can't really get any closer to New York than where we are right now. We're gonna get into the big three right now, we might as well as I'm getting into that topic. So proximity. If I was to get into my car, which is about a block from here, I would be in New York City in about 10 minutes. All right, so driving proximity, check mark is there. Schools, schools are A rated here in Fort Lee. Excellent schools, check mark there. Now, when it comes to mass transit, we always focus on train stations, generally in my episodes, if you've seen any of them. But like the Edgewater episode, I'm gonna consider ferry service rather than train. So there's no train here in Fort Lee that takes you into the city. However, Edgewater, which is a neighboring town, and I mean a very close neighboring town, is from where I'm standing right here, within 10 minutes we can get to the Fort Lee, I'm sorry, the Edgewater Ferry. So I'm gonna get a check mark for ferry service because of uh, the proximity to the ferry. So the big three here, all three check marks, You've seen my episodes before, you already know. Big three means typically high demand for this location. So we're gonna see four properties today and kind of get into those um, dynamics of pricing because it is in Fort Lee and a little bit more about the community. So let's take a little bit of a walk around here in this downtown Hudson Light shopping area and then I'll get into the details of this upcoming episode. I'll see you there. change in plan here because the rain is starting to come down. It started as a kind of misty, drizzly December morning. Now it is raining, so I had to shorten down the uh, walking footage, but you'll get a little glimpse of Hudson Lights. So right now where I'm in front of, if you can see a little bit of the front entrance door here, is I Pick Theaters. It is kind of a upscale um, movie theater experience. Obviously, uh, the really cushy, loungy chairs. Uh, you know, it's kind of the mini gourmet selection of food items, things like that. So there's a I pick here in Fort Lee. There's also an I pick in Manhattan, uh, which is just uh, across the river. So let me start just by welcoming all those Jersey hunters that have been following along. Welcome back. Those who are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Please be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. So a little bit about me and the channel. Uh, my name is Corey Jones and I am a realtor with Prestige Properties here in New Jersey. And my job is to bring content like this to viewers like you. So New Jersey Living, we cover all things New Jersey, the real estate market, places to dine, iconic locations, social scenes. These are all things that you'll find in this channel. I routinely receive text messages, emails, phone calls, 
from folks just like you who are just looking to learn a little bit more uh, about the real estate market, be it rental, purchase, or selling. So, with all that being said, Fort Lee, as I mentioned before, meets all three of the big three. We're gonna take a look at four properties today, and as always, they all sold within the past 30 days. Right now, we're in December of 2022. So you'll have a relatively good idea for what things are uh, selling in the most recent weeks of the market. Um, right now, it's very interesting because we are entering probably that core period of closings that occurred as rates really started to escalate towards uh, like your six and then 7%. All right, so you'll get an idea of uh, what type of price points uh, were being negotiated given the change in climate with all the interest rates. But here in New Jersey, things are still moving. We're not at the frenzy that we were early this year, but properties are still moving at a steady pace. All right. So um, with all that being said, we're going to jump into a little bit of uh, road footage and get into the episode for the, I'm sorry, the feature for the first property. First property is going to be a little bit separated from the other three, but we'll get into that as we get a little closer. So I'll see you at the first stop. Thanks again for joining. Here we are at our first property tour stop. Seems like we have some contractors just arriving too. We're at 1633 Maple uh, in Fort Lee. Uh, and uh, just a quick run, I'm gonna get into this one and then get into a few more details about Fort Lee. Give you a pan up. This is one half of a duplex, three bedroom, two full baths, two halves, listed at 979, sold at 990 on the market, I believe 22 days. Uh, just short of 2,800 square feet, so a good amount of square footage in this. You can see there's a garage parking. Pan around a little bit, and you can see there are a mix of property styles here. This one is only four years old, and that's what you see a lot in Fort Lee. I mean, in Fort Lee, all New Jersey, really, uh, up in northern New Jersey, New Jersey, that is. You see a lot of newer construction in the midst of established neighborhoods that are older. Fort Lee, like much of the coastline across the Hudson from New York is an older area would have, which would have been established for many many years so Fort Lee hence you know you can tell the name Fort Lee it was a fort at one point in time this dates way back to Revolutionary War times all right so um, you have a lot of history here and a lot of homes are older so uh, for example I'm just gonna pan around and you can see uh, this brick home just across the street for example I wouldn't be surprised if something like that was uh, built originally probably in like 30s maybe 40s uh, a lot of pre-war uh, construction here but then you'll have some that are newer which would have reflected a tear down and a buildup um, location wise not route 9 which directly leads into the George Washington Bridge is directly behind us so from a commute standpoint there are bus lines that run directly through the neighborhood uh, to catch the bus into the city if you don't want to drive over to the ferry in Edgewater um, so this is a, a property uh, tax wise was about 18,000 little 18,000 in terms of taxes um, you don't have a ton of industry in the town itself it's like a lot of uh, Bergen towns they are geographically relatively small and not necessarily a ton of commercial and industry um, development in the town to uh, help generate uh, tax revenue but Fort Lee does have a, a good amount um, heavy uh, Korean population that is here so if you're into Korean food and cuisine there's plenty to choose from here a lot of uh, Korean businesses as well right here in town um, a lot of inventory that you'll notice in Fort Lee, uh, you'll see condos and what is perceived to be condos that are listed for 125, 150, 200,000 in these really, really nice buildings. But more often than not, those are co-ops. And if you've seen my Union City episode, you fully understand the difference between co-op and a condo, but the short version of it is co-ops is membership of a building where everything taxes included utilities are included all the amenities uh, doorman everything uh, the mortgage itself for the building as a whole because again you don't own the individual unit you own membership in the building so all that is wrapped up into the monthly HOA which means although you may see uh, 
uh, on Zillow or any other website uh, that has real estate, you may see these gorgeous one and two bedroom condos for maybe 175,000. The monthly HOA could be 1,500, could be 2,000, 2,500, depending on the building, right? So that, that's what makes the difference. Uh, but we don't have any of that on our tour today. We're focusing on um, single families, but that's just a tidbit to take note of in the Fort Lee market. Extensive, extensive inventory of, of co-ops that are here and some condos as well, but definitely a lot of co-ops. All right, so uh, this uh, is the one property that's kind of a little out uh, of the way of the other three that we're going to take a look at. The other three are all in pretty much about a five block radius of each other. So even though this one is a bit on the higher end of the price point range, I wanted to tackle it first so that we can focus on the uh, next three stops that are all in close, close proximity together. So again, this is stop one, pin around one more time so you can kind of get a real good feel. All right. Uh, the neighborhood and pan up one more time as well so you can kind of get a good look at the property here again 28 square 2800 square feet is a good uh amount of space uh three bed two baths to the full two or half all right so off to the next spot i'll see you there second stop we're at two in front of 269 Central Ave uh, here in Fort Lee uh, this is a section as I pan around a little bit you can see it is very much a main thoroughfare uh, here in town so the uh, Central Ave portion is locally is considered a portion of uh, Route 5 that cuts through town somewhat north-south then cuts over uh, east-west so Central Ave is kind of that little east-west cutover um, and obvious purposes for pricing and negotiating, um, it's going to be a factor in terms of where the price lands. So this one uh, listed, I want to say list price, uh, roughly seven, I want to say 750, you'll see the correct one flash up of course, uh, went under uh, ask at about 680. Three bedroom, two full bath, but considering the fact that we are very much on a main road by a uh, major intersection and that this was not a newly uh, renovated property either you can see that the uh, property had some negotiating room in terms of where the price point fell um, this is something that we are seeing in the market definitely maybe not to the extent um, that we saw right here with maybe a 60 or 75 uh, 70 thousand uh, dollar drop in price but uh, definitely negotiating room you will find. This one was on the, on the market for four months, uh, just over 120 days. So that, again, weighs into how much negotiating room that there'll be. Um, so we have this as one of three properties all in the same general neighborhood. I'm gonna have some road footage for you to really appreciate the area that we're in right now. So we're more, uh, as a pan around fully, we're in more of the central portion of Fort Lee that gets very residential. Uh, although residential, you'll find a lot of single family and sometimes uh, multi-family property, but a lot of single mostly, but not large lot sizes where, again, in that section of uh, New Jersey, as you get into both Hudson and Bergen County, closer to the Hudson River, densely populated, and you don't find a lot of very large yard spaces. So yard space is something that you're certainly going to sacrifice in a place like Fort Lee, uh, but you're gonna have the convenience of access to the city and uh, still be in a location where the schools are very, very much high performing. So um, we're gonna take a little bit of a walk to the next stop uh, for the other two properties that are right here in the neighborhood. I'll see you at the next stop. Our next stop is 212 Virginia Ave right here behind me. I'm gonna pan around and you'll notice there's a road it seems to be very busy, and it is. That's Palisade Ave. Uh, that kind of cuts north-south. And again, that's part of what curves across Central and then back south again. That's that Route 5 I was talking about. Um, so bus uh, transit-wise, that will be a major um, part of the bus, bus route there that runs through town. All right, so you're not far from a bus stop uh, at this location. Uh, 
same residential neighborhood, uh, but this is more at the side street and you get more of that residential feeling. Uh, this all brick, which is definitely an appeal for many, uh, fully renovated, which is even more of an appeal. Uh, three bedroom, uh, two and a half bath. This was listed and sold at 825 on the market, just 34 days. It didn't last uh, very long, and that goes along with being fully renovated. So in this case, you can see there is a uh, garage that is here, and unless you're not from or familiar with uh, northern New Jersey, there are areas, many areas in northern New Jersey that are very hilly and you'll notice that you'll have um, driveways like this one just to pan down a little uh, that are on a decline but just like this property has right here there is a um, basically a sump uh, so there's a drain at the very bottom of the driveway because the obvious concern is when it rains uh, particularly when you have severe storms what's going to happen when all that rain uh, drains water directly down the driveway towards the garage because you don't want to end up with a flooded garage so any uh, property that has that type of decline of a driveway should have uh, a drain at the bottom that does have a pump that then pumps that water out to some other uh, location, all right? So uh, that's something that's uh, an essential maintenance piece as well once you own a property to make sure that it doesn't become clogged and that the pump does in fact work. Uh, aside from driveways like this, you will find that sometimes in uh, stairwells that lead back down into a basement, usually at the from the backyard, that lead down to a basement. Anything that goes underground or in the ground, whether it be a driveway that is at a decline angle or stairwells that walk down into a basement, absolutely should have a drainage system because that will cause issues if it does not. All right, so, uh, but this one is a, a very impressive property, sold quickly, hence the renovations and what have you that you saw. So we have one more to take a look at on Palisade, so I'll see you there. Hey. Here we are at our final stop in front of 1248 Palisades Ave. Palisades Ave, if you don't hear already, you can see it's on, it is a major road leading through north, south, in this section through town. Um, both uh, Virginia, which we just were, and Central are two blocks walks from where I stand right now. Um, so this is considered the bluff section uh, of Fort Lee. Again, very residential, uh, not nearly as, um, I wouldn't say that downtown is really truly an urban feel, but you don't find the taller buildings of co-ops and condos in this section of town. Uh, neither is the downtown section where you'll have all of the dining and entertainment and other businesses uh, as close. Uh, but this property uh, was listed at $999 and sold basically at a million, one dollar short. $999, $999 is what it sold for. Uh, not, as you can see, not very long on the market. It was uh, gut renovated in 2008. Uh, and if I'm recalling the bedroom bath, uh, you'll see when it flashes up here, five bed, three bath, and of course you can see garage uh, that is right here. Um, did not take very long to sell. Um, in all likelihood, it was because of one, the size, uh, and two, being gut renovated means that your systems are going to be relatively current and up to date. And when I say systems, we're talking plumbing, we're talking electrical, but when you're talking gut renovation, that means everything was taken down to the studs. So all of the older plumbing and electric taken out, all new put in, uh, which could have dated back into the 30s. Uh, I don't have the exact year of construction on this property, but um, I would safely say that um, uh, it's hard to tell if it was gut renovated or what, what the year was. I'm not gonna speculate on it. Um, but, as you can tell, it didn't take very long uh, to sell. Benefit of being on Palisades is not great having uh, the constant traffic, but you're always along the main bus line right here on this road uh, to take the bus into the city, all right? So uh, this is somewhat of a matter of convenience, and there's certainly other properties. If this was tucked into a residential side street, uh, we're talking a different price point. 
All right, um, there's certainly some other properties that are in the more side street residential areas uh, that go well over a million uh, here in town. All right, so I'm um, hoping you were able to get some valuable insights on this episode in Fort Lee. Thank you again, Jersey Hunters, for following, staying tuned, getting more info. Please click like, subscribe, notification bell. We want to continue to get the word out. And if you have any questions, comments, you want to add a few things, ask a few questions, drop it into the comments. Uh, I'm still giving away t-shirts, so you can comment me or email me directly to request a t-shirt order. Um, and we have a bit of a mix coming up uh, in terms of newer episodes. I'm going to get, uh, I mentioned a little earlier, I'm going to get into Morristown. I'm going to hit a lot of some of these other smaller towns that are not as well known, but very viable uh, real estate markets that are in Union County and even further up into Bergen. All right, so, um, but we'll also be revisiting some places that we've been already just for some market updates. So thanks again, stay safe. I'll see you in the next episode.